It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. Hello everyone and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark, I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. I was just off uh, camera checking out our Instagram page. If you haven't done so, I'd like to invite you to uh, like us and follow us on Instagram. East Daily Download is where you can find us. And we have a lot of great um, video on here and pictures from stories that we've done. Um, like, uh, oh, there's one here of uh, our own very own John uh, at uh, New Look Balancing Party uh, playing a video game. There's pictures you can see of these little guys back here when we were making them. Um, our time at the Painted Peacock, uh, Chamber, uh, um, the Greenville Chamber, uh, just tons of stuff. Oh, Stumpy's Hatch House. You can see all these videos here on the Instagram page. It's great stuff. East Daily Downloads, the hashtag. Okay, we have a big show in store for you today. Oh, um, yeah, one odd thing. Um, I still have my roller skates on from uh, last week when we were at uh, Extreme Action Park in Chocowinity, having a good time out there, you know, rolling around. Anyway, um, I just, this floor is nice and smooth, so I just kept them on. Anyway, I will eventually take them off. Uh, but let's get started. Let's dive into the show and uh, check the story out. And we'll be back in just a little bit here on the East Daily Download. Now downloading People and Places. Pike County is really a beautiful place. And that's especially true here along the Pamlico Sound. It's just peaceful. This is beautiful out here. Here is the Bell Island Pier at the Swan Quarter National Wildlife Refuge, a place so beautiful you might not even realize what you're missing when you drive down US 264. I would say it's a very hidden gem and uh, a lot of folks in the county know about it, but not a whole lot of people inland really are aware how beautiful this place is. First built in the 1930s, hurricanes twice destroyed the pier. Today it juts out some 1100 feet into Rose Bay. It is one of the uh, few public access locations for folks to come out and fish or do bird ob observation or photography uh, in Hyde County. But it's the amazing fishing that brings most people here, people like Deborah Black. A bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. So true. Even when the weather isn't great, it's still relaxing. Lowers the blood pressure. Deborah lives in Virginia but visits Hyde County a few times a year and a walk down the Bell Island Pier is always a must. You get a smorgasbord of different types of fish, crabs, and it's just peaceful. Well, peaceful when there's not a camera crew in your face as you try to fish. Speckled trout, flounder, puppy drum, black bass, just a few of the species of fish reeled in on the pier. But if casting a line isn't quite your style, that's okay. There's something for everyone at the refuge including on the long drive down a dirt road to get here. It's about two miles going through a salt marsh and you can see a lot of different kinds of wildlife um, along that road. Otters, amphibians, reptiles, snakes, turtles, uh, a lot of different kinds of birds in that salt marsh. So it's a, and it's actually a quite peaceful drive. Sometimes folks come down here and park and either walk or jog as well. But it's what's at the end of the road that keeps folks coming back year after year. If you love the outdoors, then you'll love the Bell Island Pier. It doesn't get no better. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's good fishing. It's clean. I just love it. Now downloading Meltivational Monday. If you're waiting for the right time to go back to school, here's your first lesson. There is no right time. There's only right now. You're never too old to get your degree and it is never too late to go for your dreams. So start late, start scared, start again. Please, just start. 
Since Eastern North Carolina does experience such a wide variety of temperatures, from an agricultural standpoint especially, we really have to monitor overnight low temperatures as we go into March and April. 46 in Roanoke Rapids, a little warmer over here in Hatteras, because even though we think of the weather warming up on average, there are still times when we can drop down close to, if not below the freezing mark in March and even in April too. So we always monitor for any freeze warnings that might be issued and always make sure we push that information out when viewers need to know. Hey everybody, welcome back to the East Daily Download. We're just kind of looking back on some of the great moments we've had here on the show. This was the board that we had from uh, Stumpy's Hatchet House in Greenville. When we went on location, spent a week there, talked to Josh and the great people at that organization and uh, threw the hatchet. We keep this here on the back of the set. We always like to keep um, kind of mementos, artifacts, props, if you will, from different shows just as a kind of a reminder to us of the fun that we've had during this time that we've been on the air. So anyway, I mean, we got, who could ever forget these little guys from um, Pain of Peacock. Anyway, okay, let's get back to the show. Uh, we're gonna continue our trip down nostalgia lane, but right now, check this story out and I'll see you in a little bit with my roller skates on here on these daily downloads. Do you find that it's easier for a kid to learn how to ice skate the first time rather than like me if I went out there to try to ice skate the first time? Yes, it is. It's very different teaching a child or teaching an adult, but I love, I love, teach, I love teaching the adults that come in <clears throat> and teaching them how to um, just be safe out there. Yeah. Rather than just coming in and public skating and you know not really knowing much about it, we teach safety and stance, and um, especially if you're skating with your child, you want to be safe. Right. So um, it's kind of important that you come in and take some lessons before you ice skate. With <clears throat> the hockey you have leagues here is that how that works I mean does ECU play here so ECU practices okay. and plays here and um, they have a, a season that runs September through mid-February okay. they've got games on the weekends um, and then they travel as well and uh, we have adult hockey leagues that are filled with all sorts of people all different occupations there are several ECU professors that play on those um, teams and they have so much fun now do you so Let's say, for instance, sake of argument, I wanted to play hockey. Actually, I enjoy hockey, but I'm not, you know, you saw me skating earlier. I can get around the rink, but I'm not, like, hockey level. Do you have entry-level hockey programs for people who are kind of early entry-level skaters? Yes, we have a learn-to-play hockey program, oh, which is cool. wonderful. We usually encourage you to do a little bit of lessons. Most important yeah. is you know how to stop on the <laughs> ice. You don't want to go too fast with a stick and a puck and not be able to stop. So we want everyone to be able that. to stop. And then you move till they learn to play hockey, hmm. and then we have leagues, and um, we've got different levels of leagues, different ages. We have um, 70 plus year olds in our adult hockey leagues, so there's something for everybody. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's change this uh, subject line just a little bit to other things that you do here. Obviously, you have um, the hockey and the figure skating, but parties, birthday parties. So. If I have a child who wants to come out here, can you tell me about that process? Yes, we have um, birthday parties for kids of all ages. Some adults even come and have their birthday party nothing here. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and actually, the movie Frozen coming out has really, oh. we've seen a boom in Frozen birthday parties. So, and which, what else, I mean, what could be more fun than a, a Frozen ice skating party? It's not the usual party. Yeah, it's, it's sort of strange. Zachary Gama's 11th birthday was like no other he celebrated before. He got birthday wishes, presents. I felt, I felt heart warmed. I felt, I, and I, I even, one of my aunts even gave me some money. All from six feet away, but they made the most of the distance. Zachary got his very own parade. And we had birthday music playing outside of our cars as we drove around into the court. Zachary loves Godzilla, so we made sure that we included a lot of Godzilla stuff on the posters. We're blessed, and I think that not a lot of people have a family like us, and I knew that they would do something really special for him. I think it's really important because they're kids, and birthday memories, I feel, are like 
such an important memory in the child's life. And while it will be a birthday to remember, Zachary already has his wish for next year. That there will be no viruses going around like my COVID-19. Welcome to the Kelly Clarkson Show! Kelly Clarkson is daytime television's newest superstar. Engaging with natural enthusiasm. You know what I love about you? You have no chill. No. <laughs> I have no filter, clearly. Completely genuine. It's just a really important thing that you know that she's working so hard. She's giving the people what they want. The gang is back together, y'all. It's an American Idol reunion. What was your favorite moment? You came in and said, I was like, yo, she's fire right there. Really? Oh, yeah. Even if you're lying, I'll take it. <laughs> The Kelly Clarkson Show. Kelly. It rocks. That was a lot of confetti. Weekdays at 3 on WNCT 9 on your side. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the East Daily Download. I'm on the uh, mobile app. That's the WNCT mobile app available at Google Play or the App Store for free. You can get it downloaded. There's a lot of great news content on there, a lot of great uh, weather information from our weather, first alert weather team, and also the East Daily Downloads on there. So you can watch the show on the go wherever you are. Um, okay, I'm going to put this down for a minute, continue to talk with you guys. So I mentioned earlier about nostalgia on the show and different things that we've done. Um, this is one of my favorite things. Not everybody uh, on cast and crew and these Daily Download players love this as much as I do. This is from our Back to the Future show that we did last September for Back to the Future Day. And there was a lot of controversy on the crew with this about no one really wanting to wear this wig to play the part of Doc while we did that show. You can look that episode up. It is online at WNCT.com under the download tab. Um, middle of September, late September, I believe, maybe around the 24th or the 21st. Anyway, we had this wig. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we like to keep it on the set back here on the CW Beach Ball that has a pair of CW sunglasses on top of it. Again, we like to have the set decorated with the memories. Okay. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we get back to it right now, and we'll be back in just a little bit and continue with the show, okay? Uh, I still have my skates on, and uh, I'm going to skate out of here for a minute, and I'll be right back. Shania Twain and Gary Sinise co-star to tell the true story of singer Jeremy Camp facing tragedy and keeping the faith in I Still Believe. My name is Jeremy Camp. I want to introduce you guys to someone special tonight. Jeremy Camp, played by Riverdale star K.J. Appa, is a Christian rock musician who lost his first wife to cancer after being married to her for only three months. I didn't even really know what faith looked like until I, until I did this movie and until I met Jeremy. And I didn't know someone could have that much faith in God. It seriously inspired me. Earlier this year, we had some tough news, some really tough news. Can we do something special for the most special person in my life tonight? Can we pray for her? The real life Jeremy Camp was on set for most of the film, which made KJ and co-star Britt Robertson just a little nervous. Early on, it was very intimidating. I remember, I think, when I first found out, I was like, wait, he's gonna be on set like every day, like every mm. day he's gonna be on set, so even the tough scenes, he's gonna be on set. Mm. And then we got to know him, and then, honestly, after he left, it it, it made me a little more insecure when he wasn't Yeah, I was like, where's Jeremy? I liked having <laughs> yeah. his blessing. You're getting married. Yeah. But will she get better? I don't know, Mom. Son, you're only 20 years old. You just met this girl. Gary Sinise and Shania Twain played Jeremy's parents. I was just very inspired by, I still believe, relating to the grief, relating to the courage that you do have to draw on when you face adversity. I was also inspired by the commitment of love and devotion. It just warmed my heart. I want you to know that whatever this is <laughs> and wherever it takes us, that I'm with you. Every step, every moment, I'm with you. I'm in. I'm so in. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. 
Our nation's capital, decisions are made here that affect all of us. And today, more than ever, people want truth, understanding, and accountability. So join us every evening as we bring you CBS News original reporting from around the world while keeping our eye on what's going on right here in Washington. And bringing you the latest news and weather across the East. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. Now downloading Medical Minute. Short of total isolation, good hygiene remains the most effective way to mitigate the spread of illness. This means regularly washing hands and disinfecting common areas in the home. Experts recommend people wash hands with soap and water, scrubbing for a minimum of 20 seconds before rinsing them off. If soap and water aren't available, use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Hands should be washed often, but especially after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, using the restroom, eating or preparing food, and any contact with animals. People should also avoid touching their face. Properly disinfecting your home and car is another way to combat the spread of illness. High traffic areas should be regularly cleaned. Think kitchen counters, tables, light switches, bathrooms, doorknobs and handles, steering wheels. Use disposable gloves while disinfecting and discard them after use. Any surfaces that are visibly dirty should be washed with soap and water before disinfecting. EPA registered products containing at least 70% alcohol should be effective for solid surfaces. But what about laundry? Dirty clothes and linens should be cleaned using the hottest water possible based on manufacturer's recommendations and dried completely. Clothes hampers should be disinfected and again, hands should be washed after handling dirty laundry. And don't forget about gadgets. Use alcohol wipes to clean phones, tablets, and remote controls. Make sure to clean the entire device, front, back, sides, buttons, protective cases. For more on good cleaning practices, reach out to a local health department or visit the CDC's website at cdc.gov. For today's Health Minute, I'm Melissa Rainey. If I told you you had the chance to win a free wedding, would you believe me? Well, if you or your loved one is active duty military, you just might have that chance. Garrett and Emily Letham own 105 Bay, a North Topsail Beach property managed by Ward Realty. They're looking for a military couple to give away a beach wedding weekend to. The prize is more than the wedding venue. It also includes donated services from a local wedding planner, photographer, hair and makeup artist, DJ, florist, videographer, and pastry chef. The wedding weekend for 75 guests runs from Friday, May 29th through Monday, June 1st, with the wedding at sunset on May 30th. So our um, rules on the, uh, the whole giveaway is that either one or two members of the relationship have to be active military. Um, it doesn't matter which branch they're in. Here's how to enter. Record a video no longer than five minutes explaining your love story. Then email that video to rentals at wardrealty.com before the deadline. For more details on how you could win a wedding at this house behind me and specifics with how to apply, visit wnct.com and click on online originals in the feature section. In North Topsail Beach, I'm Kayla Schmidt, nine on your side. Watch your local WNCT 9 in your side news on our live stream on WNCT.com. What are online originals? Local stories. A grant is allowing Duplin County to continue helping senior citizens. Local documentaries. Here today at the Ronald McDonald House of Eastern North Carolina. They've just finished their expansion. Special features. I certainly need some help with my skills on archery. Behind the scenes. From tap rooms to retail to fitness. Everything you need at your fingertips. WNCT.com online originals. Now downloading Southern Stars. Hey Charlotte, we're in Greenville. Tell us about our Southern Stars today. Well, today we're going to meet Freddie and Lillian Outerbridge. They are great leaders of our community. They work really hard to improve our education system. Mm. And they are also, you know, presidents and leaders of other organizations. Sounds like they're great contributors in many ways. Let's go meet them. Awesome. Uh, we're here today to honor you both as Southern Stars in Eastern North Carolina. We're so happy. 
They're responsible for creating and implementing programs that inspire others, especially youth. They work with the elderly. They did Meals for Wheels right before they got here today. Yes. And um, they've done a program called Hidden Heroes, which recognizes people who do good jobs and seldom get recognition for it. Yeah. Just so many things, youth art festivals, and they're retired educators, and they're members of North Carolina Retired School personnel. Yes. And um, they just do a fantastic job as committee chairman for I've us. always been motivated to help the community because I see things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. And I try to come up with some ideas and present them to other people <laughs> and take it from there. And so if we can love, we need to share that love yes. because our, Jesus Christ shared his love for us mm -hmm. and he wants us to spread it. On behalf of Southern Bank, I would like to present you with these gift cards to thank you for all that you've done for the community. And if you know someone in your community making it a brighter place, make your nomination. Go to WNCT.com slash stars. The East Daily Download is all about local businesses. If you're interested in having your local business showcased, contact Joel Bullard at 252-355-8520 or jbullard at WNCT.com. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. Uh, we've been talking about nostalgia and props that we have here. This hat was uh, purchased, and we got this around Halloween time, and this was for our uh, Nut Day episode when everybody wore this on the show as uh, different characters like one of the Almond Brothers. That still makes me laugh. Uh, we had uh, Lady Cashew. We had, uh, what else did we have? Almond Cashew. Hazelnut. And uh, there was another one. But anyway, another great memory from the show. And again, go to WNCT.com and go to the download tab and you can watch all those episodes. Also, it's on the mobile app as well. Okay, uh, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, we will be back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. So enjoy your day. Thanks so much for joining us. And I'm going to skate out of here now. Bye-bye, everybody. When we hit the road for the next edition of the East Daily Download, we have a story for you on mortgage rates. Entertainment Tonight takes a look at the movie A Quiet Place 2. We take a look back at our visit to Captain Jack's Mini Golf, and we have a special edition of Down Eats. We'll see you on the next edition of the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.